Hi, my name is Randy Russell with Ass Industries. Today we're going to cover the 1410E ejector, 14 cubic yards, 10 foot with a cut ejector scraper. Now this is their first Ashland scraper that's a rear load design and ejector series. So let's get started. Welcome to the cut zone. So the 1410 is a perfect scraper for front wheel drive tractors. Now this scraper comes standard with a category four agricultural hitch. Now this hitch is for customers that have short term earth moving projects such as cleaning waterways or doing touch up work around the farm. The tractor must be equipped from the factory with a heavy duty category four or category five drawbar when using this ag hitch. Additionally, we strongly recommend sliding the factory drawbar to its shortest coupled position into the tractor for added tractor protection and better performance while using this ag hitch. Now we're showing this is with the yoke style hitch. Now for customers who have a lot of scraper work and a lot of long-term applications, we recommend this type of hitch because we get the weight transfer closer into the tractor. So let's talk about this hitch first of all. So this basically has six greasers on this system. We have two on the hitch yoke here, two on the horizontal pin, and two on the vertical pin. And that's the only greaser you have this entire machine. So really what it does, it gets a weight transfer in the tractor, gets a better performance because you get that weight transfer tighter into the tractor. Now the 1410 requires two hydraulic motes to work. One controls the lift, the other one controls the apron eject. Let's talk about the hoses first. We have a nice hose stand that holds it up above the hitch system so you don't have to worry about the hoses getting caught in the hitch. We come back to a nice sturdy bulkhead. That's in case you have accidental separation, you're not gonna tear up your hydraulic lines off the front section. Now the lines come back, run through the middle of the front section pipe, it really protects it from damage from falling objects. Now coming along from the front pipe, the hydraulics run through this dirt shield and through the middle of the frame. So you can see we really protect the hydraulic line, especially when you get up against the banks or you got branches, you're not going to worry about your hydraulics getting tore off. And it comes back through this protected shield and runs through the control valve. Now one circuit controls the apron to push off and that's all done through this valve here. Now one of the things we integrate in this machine is greaseless bushing technology. We've done it on the pivot joints, the rod end of the apron cylinder, as well as the base end as well as the lift cylinder, so it really gives you peace of mind that you have systems here that you don't have to worry about greasing. Now the 1410, as I mentioned before, is the only rear load design that we have, so all the control of the depth of cut is done with these lift cylinders back here. Now why is that important? In sandier, softer conditions, it lowers the whole machine to the ground. And again, we have the grease bushings on the rod end, the base end, as well as the pivot joints on this system here. But what we're doing is we're controlling the scraper with these four 17.5 by 25 tires to give you the flotation you need, as well as to give you the compaction that you need on most of these job sites. Now these four tires have two spindles, just like sharpening a pencil on both ends with the hubs on each side of it. So what you'll have happening is if you get material in front of one tire, the other tire can keep rolling. The push-off is guided with four roller systems. We have two on the floor and two mounted midway up. Let's talk about this. This is a hold-down roller. It prevents the push-off from going side to side, as well as from the material of building up on the floor. It keeps it struck off nice and smooth. For customers looking for GPS control, an optional laser mask can be mounted onto the front section. Now, for customers who want to do some top loading, simply loosen these five bolts, rotate the headache rack back slightly, retighten it, so it gives you a better target for top loading with a wheel loader or excavator. Well, that wraps up our product profile, the 1410E Ejector Scraper. Now, if you have any questions about this scraper or any other Ashton scrapers, please call us toll-free, 877-634-4622, or visit our website at ashlandind.com.